All right, welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are trying to beat the entire game with only two soldiers per mission. Sounds a bit crazy, it certainly is. We're in the uh, fourth retaliation mission, it's month number six and our roster is somewhat um, disjoint at the moment if you uh, look at the available um, operatives. Our sharpshooter at Galleon Poe is still lightly injured, so the Reaper sharpshooter combination is not available. Likewise, the Roby plus Magister are not available, so it falls back to Renven and Zirkim. And what I'm expecting uh, is we're definitely going to fight against the Chosen, in this case the Assassin. Uh, so technically, um, it would have been valuable to have um, the. Um, Reaper with us because uh, they are the natural enemy and can detect the Chosen but I don't want to put the Reaper in yet another time when we do have two high-level um, soldiers that can actually um, in my opinion pretty well match the Chosen so we just need to spot her out and uh, go from there I guess my biggest concern is that we're not having enough uh, firepower to actually save some civilians um, it's a defend haven from assault uh, mission, which means we're going to have a couple of uh, soldiers that are defending as well. And we need to save at least six. Uh, that uh, was at least uh, that was always uh, the plan. And the problem is, um, just out of my experience, it might be somewhat overwhelming. Depending on what the enemy feels, uh, we might end up with um, really having <coughs> too many enemies at the same uh, time. But look at that, uh, the game had um, a bit of a mercy uh, with us uh, by giving us another soldier. Uh, this here is from the Continent Bonus, as you are aware, I am a big fan of the Continent Bonus. Uh, once again, it has proven invaluable for this run. We are concealing ourselves. Uh, and the first resistance cell is here. We are definitely looking for some solid high ground. Being concealed. We haven't triggered anything. Opposite is true. So we're taking the high ground. Just making sure we're in a good position. And last but not least, Let's do an overwatch here from Cameron. Cameron is uh, the newest addition. He only has six hit points, but he does have a decent weapon. And if we can keep him alive, he's going to be the source of some additional damage. It comes at no surprise uh, that the Chosen actually joins us. Let's take a look at her. She can summon stun lancers. That's bad. That's actually really bad. She enters Overwatch at the end of her turn. That's not so bad because uh, we have lightning reflexes. She cannot be triggered by Overwatch. That's very, very bad. And uh, her disadvantages or her weaknesses, Reapers, we don't have them. And we probably don't have enough attacks to really uh, regularly trigger Bewildered. So it should be a fairly, um, fairly complicated fight against her. Uh, but I'm confident that we can take her out. Squad's position, Commander. Oh, look at that. A Spectre. That's going to be our main target. That's definitely going to be our main target. Should have probably brought um, blue, screen, uh, blue screen rounds with us at least once. And yeah, there we go. The resistance operatives tell us there is another pack over there. And unfortunately they are attempting to pull it. Seems to be a sectoid. Nice. Good shot. So the medkit is good and all. But uh, I guess the main problem is we currently need to get rid of those uh, two guys. Uh, luckily for us, we do have um, Salvo, which means we can lob a grenade and afterwards continue shooting. There we go. 
both of them are exposed. I like it. This tree trump is gone. You can see it because the mutant has no cover. And I guess we're taking saturation fire here. Mainly because it hits both of them. And I am hoping that we're about to kill the mutant with it. Not sure, but it's definitely worth it. Unfortunately, we haven't killed him. Okay. Shit happens. This here will be a definite kill. I'm just thinking about maybe taking a better position here in high... Uh, in full cover uh, we can still do that we have impla uh, implaceable so let's first of all take a shot death from above allows us another shot implaceable allows us to reposition which we're doing this here is a pretty solid hit there is another death from above I think we're going just to overwatch for now. Overwatch. And you know what? Overwatch. Chosen one is still not coming. Let's see. Oh, what? An Archon? Oh, gosh. That's bad news. The aliens may have cleaned up the design, but these monsters are no better than the ones my father dealt with. Oh, that's indeed bad news. Missing twice is also not the best start. Chosen is moving in. Let's see if they can kill the uh, Sectoid at least. Chosen one just appeared. That will slow it down. I'm not sure why exactly those guys wouldn't shoot. Uh, we do have two resistance operators here. It should have been a pretty uh, simple um, shoot and run. Like kill this guy, run back type of scenario. But apparently they didn't want to do that. Anyways, we're reloading and... I am going to use Chain Shot because the Archon is tough. Very, very tough. Hopefully we're going to hit both. That's a good first start. Well done. Second one missed, but we still have uh, the um, stock. So that's good. I think we're positioned quite well here, uh, so what we're going to do is reload and take a shot. Okay, good enough, good enough. Like it. Hmm. Could move to here. Reload, run and gun, move to there. And there is a chance of actually killing it with one shot. The other alternative is if we were to go to melee it, because we do have Bladestorm. Next turn, uh, we would trigger Bladestorm. Problem is, uh, there is a chance that we're going to miss. And we don't have Untouchable. Um, plus, well, I'm not so afraid about the sector. The sector will mind spin. Maybe that's the better selection, actually going there and slashing it. Um, but we would need to hit, elsewise this, is, uh, this would look very, very bad. You know what, let's not take any risks. Instead, let's reload, run and gun like I mentioned initially. Moving over. And this could even, I mean, it's still an 80% hit. This could even be a crit and a kill. It's a hit, which is good, good enough. Hair trigger, maybe. <laughs> good old hair trigger, baby. Good old hair trigger. Of 
Great answer. They know nothing of their actions, if you say so. Alright. 50-50. Come on, let's get this rolling. Eh, maybe we want it too much. But we do have untouchable, so having Renvan in front is a good idea. Sektoid is running, which means the Chosen is going to continue moving towards us. So here's the deal. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six here are these six here are currently uh, enough for us to win the mission. These two will not move in further unless the sector dies. The sector ran away, which is good. Um, these guys here will be soon overrun by a ton of aliens, um, and we need to deal with the chosen one. So, all things considered. We might want to take it a bit slower. Chosen One is most likely hiding somewhere here, which is, from our perspective, out of range. So what we can do is can position ourselves well in high ground. Chosen can still move up, uh, so she can just jump up here. That's not a problem for her we're reloading everyone because she's anyways immune against uh, overwatch shots and let's wait for her uh, for her appearance there we go chosen one acts resistance activity okay That, by the way, is a mistake, buddy. You should never uh, start hitting um, a Berserker if it's not moving into your direction. Because what he has successfully done is he has enraged it. Enraged means it's running right towards you. And that means... Uh, there we go. Next mistake. Um, normally, only one of those pegs runs in. But uh, the problem with Berserks is if you hit them, they enrage. And they will run in as well. So <clears throat> they defile the rule of thumb that on, as long as not as you're not triggering the packs, only one pack will move in and kill. With the uh, with the um, uh, with the berserks, that's no longer the case. Okay, so we know that she can't be somewhere here, but she very much can hide back here. Probably uh, behind the tree line somewhere. Maybe even behind that tree. So I'm just trying to uh, spot her out at that point. So she's not here, she's not here, she's not here. All of that would have been spotted out. Uh, she could also be behind the fence, so let's not kid ourselves. Mm. She could also be here. Like that would be a good hiding spot. Um, question is, should we use the grenade to try to get her uh, out of the spot? I don't know. I mean, she could be like literally at uh, many different places. She could also try to move that way around and come here. It's impossible for us to to really know. We know that she's going to come for us. Probably this round she's going to decloak. So we're going to see where she is. Chosen action. Interesting, I've never seen her being so passive. And for now, not even the aliens start to act. So those guys here take gratis shots on the aliens. Which is great. Uh, I was wrong. The aliens act. There is the berserk, and the berserk looks pissed. You guys are well advised to focus on the berserk. 
Okay, so we know she might be behind the fence, right? Ah, uh, hmm. She's not behind the fence. I refuse to give up this position here, because it's pretty good. Um, specifically against her. Where could she be? She could be behind that fence, but I am risking to pull the addition, the additional pack, which I don't want to do. She's not behind the fence. She's she wasn't here. She wasn't here. She still could be over there. Let's move back and try to find her. So far, none of the civilians had been massacred, which is great. It's now going to change, I suppose. There's the Berserk. Right, they are down to three guys with weapons. Yep, and now the Massacre is going to start. Really can't do much against the Berserk except this time. One thing that seems to be clear is the Chosen doesn't know how to deal uh, with um, with the uh, with the additional um, operative. Now it revealed itself here. That's very interesting. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. That is bad, by the way, because I, I mentioned uh, they will stay here. The guys with weapons stay here uh, as long as. Um, as long as the sectoid will be alive. Well, guess what? The sectoid just died. So four of the civilians were rescued. And unfortunately, the two operatives now ran in, hoping to help. And I put help very loosely. I'm not sure if they are actually helping. They, there is a high chance that they are getting slaughtered, which completely changed our plan. We need to fight the Chosen. And we don't have a sniper. Okay, so I suppose might want to move in. We know the Chosen is here, we know this will trigger the Chosen, this is full cover. Yeah, I can't move there yet. All right, we're still good. Uh, the number of civilians will drastically reduce now. At least two of them will die every turn. So I'm still not 100% sold that we can uh, win this mission. Because the guys pulled the Berserks and I told you that's a very, very bad idea. Chosen begins to vanish. Chosen begins to reappear. Hmm. 
one of my main concerns is that we're not going to be there fast enough. Yeah, we can move up to here. It's probably the best idea for now. And next turn we can start to act. That's a bit the problem. We are pretty, pretty far away. Chosen will vanish again. Not sure if she can reach us. This year would be a good spot, but it will trigger... Yeah, through the window it will trigger at least all two, maybe three berserks. And that would be ludicrous. We're going to go to here. That's pretty much it. Yeah, we're going to lose three further civilians. <coughs> Two, because one seems to be an evasive one. I like it. She was an evasive one. Yeah, just stand there for now. I think that's a good position. 37 hit points, by the way, is a lot for uh, for only two uh, for only two operators from our side. Ah, that is the Stun Lancer. It's a very, very unfortunate event. Triggers Overwatch. Did she just blind us? All of us? So I saw two additional mutants, which is a problem. One of them is down, that's good. And there's another one over here, who seems to be fully alive. We still got a couple of guns left. That's good, but it can change quite rapidly. Okay, this here is supposed to give us line of sight. Good. This here will hit the Chosen and get rid of uh, the cover. Alright, we could get to her. Hmm, that's a good position. How far is he able to see? He can barely see her. 
So this over here would be the best position, which we don't have yet. Um, yeah, but we need to go there. We are exposing ourselves towards the stun lance. I'm aware of. Uh, I'm aware of that. We are handing over a teamwork action. I was hoping that we would be able to f find a chosen, uh, or would be able to see the chosen. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, I could have done Saturation Fire more easily without her. Anyways, let's reposition Run and Gun over here. That should allow us to see the Chosen as well. Unfortunately, does not. Which means we got to improvise. This here is good enough to get rid of the cover. And his armor. This here will hurt the Chosen. A crit for 10 is not bad. We're overwatching <clears throat> in the hopes of maybe taking a shot at the um, at the Sun Lancer. Or at a mutant, that's fine for me as well. So the mutant did not throw a grenade, that was good. Another two mutants, wow, we're being outgunned here quite single-handedly. I think we need to retreat a bit. This wow, so many uh, so many mutants. One more mutant. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. Sunlansa runs off and does something else. Okay. Chosen deals four point of damage, that's okay. And starts running the other way. Sunlands are almost down. Unfortunately, these guys aim like shit. I think she's behind the car, to be honest. So if we were to move in here, we could probably hit both of them, but we don't have high ground. That's one of uh, the negatives here. Okay. Let's get into cover. Yeah, that that's a good shot. All right, let's give it a try. That's the opposite of what I would have expected. OK, 
Okay, let's move in and see if I was right with the Chosen. I was not. I was right with the Stun Lancer. And this here should at least deal some damage to her. Unfortunately, not probably not enough to kill her. Hair trigger, please. That would be a perfect time for hair trigger. Oh, nice. All right, another crit, please. So close. Two more hit points. Ooh. Well, the Berserk is a real problem. Oh yeah, we have way too many enemies triggered. Oh! Boy, he's an elusive one. Harbor Wave? Yeah, that's good, because we're immune against Harbor Wave. Now it, it is definitely time for a tactical retreat here. We're down to two civilians, we're not going to hold this, so um, I can already forecast uh, that we're looking at a lost mission. I don't see any option of winning this. But I do see an option of getting some more ability points. Chosen is gone. So we're taking another shot. Luckily, the uh, bonus for evading an attack uh, with running is quite high. Um, I think our operative here, Cameron, will have a very, very hard time. Is there any way how we can save him? I don't know. I mean, full cover is probably the best we can do. The Berserks are <coughs> faster than he is. But currently, we really need to just motor and go back. I'm trusting you here. Renan has untouchable, so he will be immune against the first hit. Yeah, I mean, I figured that that would happen. Someone's unconscious, which means he's still alive. I can't move. These guys here, by the way, are... Oh, wow, we're, we're still in. The guy who's unconscious will continue to be unconscious. So we haven't lost yet, and there's a single operative kind of left over. This here is really bad, though. When this guy dies, the mission is uh, has failed. Uh, 
Okay, we're trying to get the high ground. That is the only way of how I can see how we deal with the Berserks. Trying to get as much distance between them and us. <clears throat> it's unbelievably how uh, unbelievable how fast they are. It's it's really crazy. Wow, he's still alive. Come on, ignore this guy for now. So what's going to be the play here? Set him up. Knock him down. It's first and foremost run and gun. We're going to focus on one of the Berserks first. I'm not going to stand down here because that's going to be suicidal. We're trying to block the entrance by just standing up here. They will try to climb the other way. Sometimes they can even just jump up. So let's see how we can deal with the Berserks. Okay, so far so good. That one can't make it. There's a mutant. Oh no, there's another Berserk. Gotta deal with a mutant also. I need, to make it here. Yeah, de need to deal with him fast. Very fast. Okay, so far we're safe up here. Let's start. And we're going to start by... This guy is in full cover. We're going to start by reloading if I were to take away his full cover. I'm not sure, would that explode the car? Maybe. The other question is if I just uh, try to hit him. It's going to be one point of damage in minimum and a solid chance of just killing him. So we're going to go with the kill. Car burns, that's not bad. What's over there? Let's reload for now. The Berserks are a problem, but we can deal with them. This guy here is a bigger problem. 
just reload it. That's good. Oh, gosh, there's another one. Okay. Zir Kim will stay in the met, uh, in the met uh, bay for a long time. Oh my god. Okay, that's going to suck. So this here is a high chance of actually killing him, which I appreciate. That way we would get uh, death from above and we would also uh, get uh, implacable. We could do chain shot, which is another good chance. But let's start with this guy here. All right. It's one down, death from above. Still death from above, very good. That's, I don't know, I mean, it's a difficult uh, call. We're in full cover, so, and, and we certainly can't go down. So, might as well, this here is a safe uh, play. Hitting him, but not killing him. The other one, we could go, and then afterwards go for Overwatch, and just hope we would hit him. I think we can do that. Um, let's heal ourselves. Alright, come on. Unfortunately, a miss. We're going to go for Overwatch. That makes... The the target that's overwatching, in this case Zirkim, has a higher chance of being attacked. He is untouchable, uh, so we want him to be the one being attacked. Unfortunately, someone else triggered the overwatch. Still, Zirkim is in half cover and has lower health. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, snap. This here is really, really, really bad news. Anyways, we're not going to um, uh, to win the mission anyways. So this is the end of it, guys. This is the end, my friend. A lot of sweat and tears. Man. I got nothing. Heading to that location. Just a little bit shy of the necessary damage. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. 
We did okay. Five out of six. Uh, because one of them was still unconscious there. And these were the four last enemies. Uh, of course, minus the, uh, the two faceless ones that would have been there. Yeah, it is what it is. I There is really not much more to it. Sometimes you play a mission correct and like do everything the way it's supposed to be but things are not turning out great so it was a hard fought lesson and probably Zirkin will be in the mat bay for 30 plus days mission failed <clears throat> we got something out of it though a little bit experience um, we will lose uh, West Africa. Well, that's not too bad. Rescued four civilians. Has been lost. Yeah. Income has decreased. And we got fear of poison. Nice. Good. Perfect. I mean, that was just a really, really, really unfortunate turn of events i wanted to field the strongest team to exactly prevent that from happening now we do have 80 intel down the drain and instead of conquering all of europe we're reconquering africa plasma rifle yes please twenty seven days but that's Definitely worth it. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Well, well, well. We also lost access to the facility, so we can't fight off the Avatar project at the moment. Speaking about which, we uh, need to fight yet another mission. This time, Operation Dawn, a killer, and we're being ambushed. I mean, we knew that that uh, would probably happen, but uh, all of this is going to happen in the next video. I know, guys, that uh, this was an unsuccessful run, um, or an unsuccessful mission. Not an unsuccessful run, unsuccessful mission, but maybe you enjoyed it still. Um, learned something, so give it a thumbs up, like it, and leave a comment down below. Um, even if it's just how unfair you think that the aliens um, played in the last mission, because they actually had a lot of um, high hit point units fielded there. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you soon.